Ugh, okay. Anyway. Hi guys, Novatron here, and welcome back to another movie review. Anyway, welcome back to another movie review, everybody. And yesterday was the day that I watched, after recording, obviously, on not only streamed on Cartoon Network, but streamed also at What Happens at Night for Cartoon Network, Adult Swim, or, well, specifically on Adult Swim, it was Toonami, the, the part of Adult Swim where it plays anime stuff, but they put the Steven Universe movie on it, and, oh my god, was it amazing. I loved every bit of it as a Steven Universe fan that I am. I loved every second of it. We got a new villain, the new gemstone. We brought back millions of people. We got to see a lot of Steven and Connie. We got to see a lot more stuff from Garnet, Pearl, Amethyst, of course, origin stories for all of them and what happened before them. Stuff more about Rose and Greg. Again, some more history on Steven's gem, Rose Quartz, and all that stuff. It's it's amazing. But anyway, this the Steven Universe movie, I have so much to talk about. I probably won't get on all of it in the video, but starting off with it is the fact of we're going to talk about the new villain. As you can see that I have right popped up for the video because I had no other thing to pop up, so I just have this. Um... That villain is the gemstone. It is a gemstone in real life, but they never specified if it was gemstone or just a gem in the show. Uh, or a corrupted gem. I doubt it was going to be a corrupted gem anyway. I haven't seen a corrupted gem since Jasper. And they never really explained where Jasper went. But we got to see more Peridot, more of Lapis. We got to see the diamonds, including yellow, blue, um, and uh, white diamond. Yeah, we got to see more of white diamond ever since the diamonds fused together and we had garnet uh amethyst pearl and steven fuse to make obsidian which in my opinion pretty good fusion but it could have been better for the, what their four fusions were in my opinion but uh speaking of the movie the new villain being the gemstone known as spinel who is oh my gosh my favorite Steven Universe villain of all time, and you can fight me on this one and argue with me in the comments. Best Steven Universe villain of all time. By far, of all the episodes that have happened, by far, is Spinel. And if I hadn't have seen Spinel, I would have said Jasper, but no, not Jasper. Or any of the diamonds. It has to be Spinel. She's got, she's got the personality, right? She's got the craziness. She's got the villain. She's She's got everything about it. The only thing that I didn't like about it was she was a lot like the other gems. She was like, I'm here to ruin your happy ending. I'm going to destroy everything that you built. I'm going to like... But, I mean, it had a little bit of a backup to it. They made it really dark. Uh, like, oh, I'm not only killing your happy ending, I'm killing everybody on the planet. Not only just humans, animals, blah, plant life. Everything. I'm gonna kill everything that lives and breathes, including gems. And well, <sighs> anyway, so her gem is in the shape of a heart, but she turned evil, and her heart stone turned upside down to where the point of the heart was pointing up uh, to her chest, and the heart uh, part was pointing down. Uh, where she turned evil, she had these black things coming out. Which looked like eyelashes, but instead it was, like, coming from her eyes. Her hair was all frizzed up into two of these weird ponytails, which originally were hearts, because this is her evil version. She had a good version, and we'll get to that here in a minute, because that makes the story so much more darker. But, uh, she has such a good personality. In my opinion, uh, to, just to sum her up, she's practically a fusion, she's practically just a fusion of Goku Black from Dragon Ball Super and the Joker from DC Universe. And I say that because if you go watch videos of Spinel after this, of just movie clips, or if you've seen the movie or haven't seen the movie, go watch it. It's definitely worth the $14 on YouTube, except I didn't do that. I watched it for free, but just by watching it on Toonami. So do that if you want to, if you want to save money. I don't really care what you do. Uh, but... She basically is like the Joker. She's got that psychoticness. Um, 
And then she's got the personality of Goku Black as well with the, oh, I'm, I, I was the, like, the first person, I'm gonna take everything from you, and there's nothing you can do about it, and if you try to stop me, or if anyone gets in my way, we will be brought down with the rest of the planets. So anyway, it starts off with Steven having this happy ending, he's, since the big diamond fights that he had with Garnet, Pearl, and Amethyst, he... He decides to make an announcement across not only the gems, verse, and the human world, and any other worlds in general, that he has decided to make peace, uh, and especially make peace with uh, the gems, and mostly the diamonds, so they wouldn't come and destroy Earth, and he'd have to be in another war. The diamond war was pretty destructive for Earth. They ended up rebuilding half of the planet to the gems, have to play to the, the humans. And it's basically a racial thing at first, but at now it's just like, oh, it's peace. And then Spinel comes in with this big drill and smashes it into the Earth's ground and it starts killing everything, draining it from its color, like turning it black and gray and stuff, like old timey like stuff. It's just it's draining. And then like she's wanting to end the happiness ending. And then we figure out Pearl knows her. Steven's trying to find answers, and we got to see a lot more fighting from Steven, which I love. He's starting to learn his powers of healing with his own spit. He's starting to learn his bubble magic. He's, he's also starting to learn a lot more with his gem weapon, which is the Rose Quartz Shield. I, I wish we got to see a lot more of Lion, because that would have been cool. And I, I wanted... Uh, we also got... At the ending, we also got to see a sick song that was played. Uh, the, mu the music in the movie was absolutely phenomenal, too. But we got to see a sick fusion between <laughs> Steven and Greg, his father, which was pretty good. But that's not really one of the most important parts of the movie. Um, focusing again on Spindel, we're going to go with her backstory, which was practically she was made to befriend Pink Diamond, which was Rose Quartz, uh, Steven's mother. Um, this was before Pearl shattered her, uh, which, it's been a couple of months now, so you should know that whole episode and stuff. But, uh, Pink Diamond was having fun with her, so she got called up to go to war with her Pearl. But Pearl wasn't there beside her, and she took Spinel to a gar this garden, and told Spinel that she must wait here, uh, to play hide and seek, I'm gonna go count or something or hide, and goes off into the war. Millions of years later, Spinel's waiting there, and then the thing goes off in the background. She manages to walk towards it, and she sees Steven and the rest of the pearls, including well, no, not the rest of the pearls, the rest of the gems, Garnet Amethyst, then Pearl. Once she sees Pearl, she gets all angry and goes, "Oh, you left me to die, and I was the best friend here." And I'm gonna go and destroy these people because they're your new friends, and I was your original friend. You are having fun with them, and you should only have fun with me. It was that. It was in a way that kind of a situation. Again, still, still very good concept for a villain. But uh, in the end, uh, Spindel kinda, in a way, turned good. She got poofed, so that was pretty good. Spindel versus Steven was a really good fight. Could have been better. But it's a pretty good fight for what it was. It's because, I mean, I understand it's that. But for what they did, they made it really good. They put a blood in it a little bit. Um, it was it was a good movie overall, in my opinion. But, um, yeah, pretty, pretty much sums up the movie. There wasn't really much to talk about besides new villain, new stuff, more backstory information, backstory on Spinel. And we got to see some more of what Steven can do as he's developing into his gym so yeah not only that but he's got a neck now he's got a freaking neck now yeah my boy steven's growing up yeah anyway thank you guys for watching today's movie review and once again if you want to see this movie you can go i'm pretty sure it's still playing on tv I don't know if it is or not, but I watched it on Tsunami. You can watch it on Tsunami, Cartoon Network. You can buy it on YouTube for $15 since it's $14.99.
Um, or I guess you could just end up watching clips of it on YouTube because you already know how people are with the movie. But anyway, like I said, thanks for watching today's movie review. And um, I'll get back to you guys when I see another movie. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, comment down below, and hit that red subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.